Hey guys, I got another sunroof out here today. The 2018 F-150. I messed around with it a little bit yesterday. And it will vent like that. And it closes like it's supposed to. But when you go to open it, it just stops. Like it's supposed to go down and slide back. And it closes just fine. So, I'm going to try, I think, I think I'm going to clean up this rubber seal around here and maybe put some Vaseline on it. Because I'm just wondering if it's not getting in a bind and, and grabbing it. So I'm going to put some Vaseline on here and I'm going to clean it up first and then put some Vaseline on it and try it and see what happens. All right, I smeared Vaseline all the way around there as far as I can get it. I put quite a bit on it too. So I, I have no clue if it's going to open, but if it does open, I'm going to go smear it around the rest of it too because this gasket seems really dry. and It just seems like something's in a bind is why it won't open. Now it was off like from side to side, like if you see this thing versus this thing, they were off because it went like when it was when the customer first brought it out here. So I knew that one of the cables had skipped. So I, this is just held up by magnets. I pulled that down and pulled, dropped the motor off and I got these lined back up, but it still doesn't open. So I'm gonna try it again. I'm not getting my hopes up here. So let's close it. I'm gonna open it that, that way again, just to see if that smears it anywhere. Okay. Nope, still doesn't open. But it closes. Seems like it's going farther. I wonder if I was to hit the button and push down on it at the same time, if it would help it. I'm not gonna be able to do that and hold the phone, but that's what I'm gonna try. Nope, pushing down on it didn't do anything either. Seems like it goes a little bit farther. They both go the same distance on each side. Opens. Closes. I almost feel like it is that seal up a little bit more like it's stuck, so. I'm gonna try to get some more lube down around that seal. I'll keep you posted. Okay, so I just kept trying to go back and forth and now this side is trying to go back way before the driver's side. And I heard it go again, so that means there's a cable off. So that means I gotta drop that down again, take the motor off and get this squared back up. But I have a feeling this seal is just grabbing up here. It, I think that the glass needs to be, either be opened all the way or we need to take the glass out and lube it up all the way around it. I think that maybe it just hasn't been opened for a really long time. You see this side is wanting to slide now, the passenger side. But the driver side, you can just tell it, something's not wanting to move. So, I will, see I took this hanger off last night and you just pull this down, it's held up by magnets. And we can unbolt that motor and I'm gonna try to get this glass moving. So I'll let you know what I do. Okay, so this is just held on with magnets. It just pulls down. I've got this pulled back a little bit but I don't even think I need to do it. There's three bolts in the motor, T25 Torx, and I've got the motor loose 
so I can move these things and get them even backed up. Because when you hear that thing go, that means one of the cables is skipping. So I've got these lined back up, I think. And with the motor off, I think I may try to, well, I was going to say I was going to try to force this, but I'm not going to yet. I think the main thing that's wrong with this thing is that the, the gasket around the top is just seized up. So I smeared Vaseline around here as far as I can get it, but it seems to me like something's stuck here. If we could just get it to open and get that lubed up. So I'm thinking the best thing to do if you've got one that won't open is either just spray some stuff down in here and let it soak or take out these three torx bolts on each side and lift the glass up out of it and lube it up and then put the glass back in and that may be what we wind up doing taking the glass out so i may do that i may just take the glass out you can always see where these were tightened down and put them right back where they were. You can always see the, the mark where it was tightened. There's three of them. I just may take that out, lift the glass up, and, and get it lubed up all around it, and then try it. So, let's get to it. All right, I just went ahead and took the glass out so I could look and see what's going on here. And there is a piece of plastic down here on the driver's side. I'm going to try to get out. I don't have a clue where that came from. I'm going to go look at the other side and see, because I don't even see anything broken. But I'd say with that going down, laying right on top of that, that's probably why this side wasn't wanting to move. Whether it's going to affect the movement, I don't know. Now that it's out of there, I have a feeling it was keeping that side from going down far enough to move. Well, there's a piece on this side too. I don't know. Where this stuff came from. There's another piece. I'm gonna tell you right now, you guys know from watching my videos that I like options. I would probably have one of these just because the simple fact that I do like messing with crap like this, but I would not advise buying any of these vehicles with these sunroofs nowadays. See, there's another piece. I don't see any... Well, there, I think I see maybe where there's a piece missing right there. I don't see any more plastic laying down in there, but... I think there's a piece missing right there. Pretty sure there is. So will this work if we put the glass back in now that the plastic's out of the way? I don't know. All we can do is try. But I'm definitely going to clean all these edges up and Vaseline the rest of that wind, uh, rubber seal around the glass before I put it in there. I have a feeling it may still work. And the plastic was keeping it from going down far enough. I don't know. I'm going to try it and see what happens. I'm going to get the glass lubed up and get it belted back in there and get the motor bolted back up now that it looks like it's all even. And we'll try it from there. Okay, I got the edges cleaned on the glass and I got Vaseline smeared all the way around the rubber seal. Like I said, you can see right where these bolts were screwed down, but you could still you push up on the glass like this and look outside to make sure it's even all the way around the top as you're tightening those down. And it's really 
not that big a deal. See, so you just you can push up while you're tightening it and keep looking out. You just want to get it kind of level with the top like so. So that's what I'm going to do is I tighten those screws down. Get this one level for sure in the back. I want that even with this glass. So Then you got to clean the crap out of it because I'm getting fingerprints all over it. But we'll get the glass tightened back down and try it. Okay, I got that sunroof bolted back in. Pretty well even all the way around. Still got plastic chunks laying on the top here. So I'm gonna get back in here and get this motor motor pushed back up and bolted on. I left the screws in it so it didn't fall down all the way. It's a lot easier to start them. So I'm gonna hold that up, get those tightened back up, and we'll try it and hopefully it doesn't fly in a million pieces. Okay, the motor is bolted back on, and I don't know what I did with the key. Jeez. Hold on a second, I've got to find the key. Okay, I found the key. To be honest with you, I'm really nervous about trying this. I left that ratchet strap kind of holding that thing down. Um, I'm going to try tilting it first tilted it closed oh geez oh wow it worked so those plastic pieces that was laying in there was keeping it from going down all the way to slide back but what did those plastic pieces come out of Try this. I got some grease on that headliner. It's got to be cleaned off too, putting that glass back up through there. Man, it's working. What happens if this is all the way closed and we hit the sunroof? Does it open first? I'm holding the button. So if that's all the way closed and we hit the sunroof, what happens? Yeah, it opens first. Wow, it's working just like it's supposed to. I don't know where those plastic pieces came from, but that's what was holding it. This is what they call comfort closure. It always stops there. Then you can open it, hit it again and open it all the way. So, that's not good having plastic pieces out of it, but it's working. That's the main thing. I wouldn't really want to rebuild one of these like um, the other sunroofs that I do that you can see in my other videos. I'll put a link to that one. I'm going to take this down. See, you hear that? Just plastic, or magnets just snap that right back up. So, I'm going to get this thing cleaned up and called a day. So, my advice to you guys is, number one, probably don't buy one of these. But number two, if you get one and it is working, first, I want you to tilt it up. I uh, took the key out. Thank you.
First thing I want you to do, if you get one of these and it works, I want you to tilt it up. And I want you to clean this seal really good all the way around as far as you can get it. And I want you to smear Vaseline all over it. Then, I want you to close it. And I want you to open it. And I want you to stop it right there. And I want you to clean this as best you can get it and get Vaseline smeared around it. And then maybe just spray some stuff down here where you can't get this one part and just let it trickle down here. You've got to keep that lubed up. I think that's the key. Now we've got plastic pieces here that came from something. It's still working. We're not going to worry about it. So anyway, I messed with this quite a while last night too, trying to figure it out. I didn't want to take the glass out, but I'm glad I did because like I say, it's just those three bolts. One, two, three on each side. That thing lifts right up, bring it down here, clean it up. And then you can look down in there and see if you've got plastic pieces laying in there. I wouldn't say force it, like push down on it. If it's not opening like that, I'd say it's the same thing. There's something obstructing it. So we're going to call this one good. I'm just going to tell the customer I wouldn't use it a lot. Having a garage and decent weather is the, the most important thing when you have one of these. Like I say, if, if I was looking for a newer truck, I would probably want one of these just because of the simple fact I know how to maintain them. When you're going down the road, don't use it. Only use it when you're stopped, not moving, because if you hit a bump, it's going to jar. And, you know, it can jump and get off out of time on each side like it was. You know, you hear that. Drrr. So then you got to drop that motor down and you got to move these little slides, get them evened up back on each side. So only use it when the vehicle is sitting still. Don't use it going down the road. I mean, you're probably fine if you want to tilt it up going down the road, but don't do the sliding back and forth. The truck's moving. They're just too big and heavy and junk to take that chance. Like I say, this would be extremely costly to, repl to repair. So anyway, I hope this video helps you. The main thing is keep those things lubed up. If it's not opening all the way, Chances are there's some plastic or something obstructed it. You got to take the glass out and look. That's what we found. It's working fine. If this helps you at all, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Um, I'm going to keep throwing these things out there when I find something like this. Hopefully it helps somebody. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. One more thing, to put these back in, you just go like so, slip them up over, snaps on the glass right there, and then snaps onto this bottom rail right here. Sorry. That's all there is to it on both sides. And then see, works just like that. Thought I better throw that in.